first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel and in this lesson number three on the topic coded inequality we are going to learn a concept called connecting a statements so friends lesson number one we have learned an introduction on the topic coded inequality so lesson number one is so important without watching lesson number one kindly don't watch the remaining lessons so lesson number two is a direct statement and lesson number three is a combining statements so friends listen carefully uh, first of all there is a small difference between lesson number number two and lesson number three in lesson number two we have learnt a concept called direct statement in a lesson number two where the statement will be a single right they used to give in a single statement everything and by using that statement we have concluded the answer but in lesson number three they have given two statements it can be three or it can be four but initially we need to connect the statement into a single statement so after connecting all the statements into a single expression then we need to conclude the answer true or false so this is the difference between lesson number two and lesson number three so let me move on to all the seven different question on this topic lesson number three question number one so the statement number one is r greater than or equal to s then s greater than t and comma they have given an another statement which is t greater than or equal to j j less than f and f equal to u so friends listen carefully statement number one last element is t similarly statement number two first element is t so if the last element is t so this can be taken as s greater than t and here t greater than or equal to j so it is easy to connect both the statements by using an element t right because first statement ends with t and the second statement starts at t so just see how i am going to merge two expression so listen carefully r greater than or equal to s so s greater than t so we are going to merge two expression by using the element t so t greater than or equal to j so less than f and we already know that f and u both are equal so this can be written as f u so friends finally the given statement to statement is converted into a single statement so after converting into a single statement the, now we need to compare this conclusion whether it is true or not so friends this is the concept of lesson number three so we need to connect the statements after connecting the statement we need to conclude the answer so conclusion number one t greater than f so we need to compare t and f so here it is t and here it is f so between t and f we have two symbols and the common in both the symbol is listen here here it is greater than here it is less than so many times i am repeatedly saying this concept one greater than one less than if you find this symbol while comparing then definitely relationship cannot be established we can't able to find what is the relation between t and f so we can say that conclusion number one is false Conclusion number two, R greater than or equal to T. So R greater than or equal to T. So we need to compare R and T here. So when you compare R and T, so between R and T we have two symbols. One is greater than or equal to and the second symbol is greater than. So the common symbol out of these two symbols, listen here, in both the symbol we have greater than common. So greater than common. Right? But here it is greater than or equal to, here it is only greater than. So out of two symbols, only greater than is common. So we can say that while comparing R and T, the answer is R greater than T or T less than R. And the conclusion number two is R greater than or equal to T. We got an answer R greater than T. But the conclusion says R greater than or equal to T. So we can say that conclusion two is also false. So conclusion number one is false. Conclusion number two is false. So we can go for the option number four that is neither conclusion number one nor conclusion number two is true so the meaning of neither nor is both the conclusions are false question number two and here there are three statements t less than or equal to p greater than c statement number one and statement number two starts with c c greater than or equal to q q less than r and the statement number three r equal to b and b greater than a so friends similarly here the first statements ends at c and the second statement starts at so it is easy to connect both the statement by using an element c similarly the second statement ends at r and the third statement starts at r again it is easy to connect both the statements by using the element r so now we are connecting all the three statements and we are going to write the statement into a single expression right so t less than or equal to p so t less than or equal to p and p greater than c and c greater than or equal to q then q less than r we already know that r and b both are equal so r b and b greater than a so finally we have converted the three statements into a single statement right now we need to conclude the answer whether it is true or false by using the conclusion so conclusion number one is p greater than r 
so we need to find the relationship between p and r and here it is p and here it is r so between p and r we have three symbol so friends listen carefully out of this three symbol we found one symbol is greater than and another symbol is less than so this is called as a dissimilar so if you find a dissimilar while comparing definitely we can't able to find the relation so we can say that conclusion number one is false conclusion number two q less than p so we need to compare q and p so here it is p and here it is q so friends while comparing p and q so between p and q we have two symbol one is greater than and the second statement is greater than or equal to so the common symbol out of this two symbol is only greater than right because here it is greater than and here it is greater than or equal to so greater than greater than or equal to the common out of both the symbol is only greater than so this can be written as p greater than q or q less than p both are same and now the conclusion number two is q less than p similarly q less than p which is correct so we can say that conclusion number two is true and conclusion number one is false so finally we can go for option number two that is conclusion number two follows question number three here they have given three different statements so it is easy to connect the statement because here the first statement ends at i and the second statement starts at i and similarly the second statement ends at j and the third statement starts at j so let me connect all the three statements friends. this can be written as e less than or equal to g and g and i both are equal right so we can write this as g i and i less than h so i less than h and h greater than j and here both the j are common and j less than or equal to o and o and p both are equal so this can be written as o p so finally we have converted the given statement into a single statement right so let me move on to conclusion number one and the conclusion number one is e less than or equal to p we need to compare e and p right so here it is e and here it is p so between e and p we have one two three four so we have four symbols and listen carefully friends here it is one less than and one greater than so while comparing two elements if you find one less than and one greater than which we used to call it as a dissimilar so if you find one less than one greater than definitely we should not we can't able to find the answer right so relationship cannot be established so conclusion number two so conclusion number two is e equal to i right so we need to compare e and i yeah here it is e and here it is i so while comparing e and i we have only one symbol which is less than or equal to so the answer must be e less than or equal to i so this is the relationship between e and i but the conclusion says only e equal to i but here while comparing we got e less than or equal to i but the conclusion says only e equal to i so we can say that conclusion number two is also false so finally for question number three both the conclusion is false so we can go for option number four that is neither conclusion one nor conclusion two follows question number four so p equal to c and c less than k k greater than or equal to m and m less than or equal to b so here they have given four different statements and similarly connecting a four statement is so easy because here c and c k and k m and m so it is easy to merge all the statements so it can be written as p equal to c and c less than k and k greater than or equal to m so here both the m are same right so m less than or equal to b and uh, we have converted the statement into a single statement and p and c both are equal so finally this can be written as p, as p and c so friends let me move on to conclusion number one so conclusion number one is p less than or equal to b so we need to compare p and b so while comparing p and b so in between p and p we have three symbols and here one less than one greater than so definitely we can't able to find the relation so answer that is conclusion number one is false conclusion number two p greater than k so we need to find the relation between p and k so here it is p and k so between p and k we have only one symbol which is less than so this can be written as p less than k or k greater than p but the conclusion says p greater than k while comparing p and k we got p less than k but the conclusion is p greater than k so we can say that conclusion number two is also false so finally for question number four we got an answer that is option four neither nor neither conclusion number one nor conclusion number two follows so the meaning of neither nor is both the conclusion is false question number five 
so k less than or equal to l and l equal to m so similarly they have given three different statement and it is easy to connect the statement because first statement ends at m and the second statement starts at m similarly the second statement ends at o and the third statement starts at o so finally this statement can be written as k less than or equal to l and l equal to m and m greater than or equal to n and n greater than o and o equal to h and h greater than or equal to p so finally we have converted the given statement into a single statement and here l and m both are equal so this can be written as lm okay and similarly here o and h both are equal so this can be written as oh okay friends so let me move on to conclusion number one and the conclusion number one is l greater than o so we need to find what is the relationship between l and o so here it is l and here it is o so between l and o we have two symbol one is greater than equal to and the second is greater than and the common symbol out of both the symbol is only greater than is common right so here greater and here greater so we can say that out of this two symbol only greater than is common so while comparing l and o we got an answer l greater than o or o less than l and the conclusion number one is l greater than o so we can say that conclusion number one is true and conclusion number two n greater than p so we need to compare the relation n and p listen here friends here it is n and here it is p so while comparing n and p we have similarly two symbol and out of this two symbol only greater than is common so we can say that n greater than p or p less than n both are same and conclusion number two is n greater than p so we got an answer that is conclusion number two is also true so finally for question number five both the conclusion is true so we can go with option number five that is both conclusion number one and conclusion number two follows that is true question number six so here they have given three different statements and it is easy to connect both the statements statement number two and statement number three because statement number two ends at u and statement number three starts at u so we can easily connect statement two and statement three listen here friends here the statement number one ends at x and statement number two starts at o so we already know that by seeing a statement o equal to x if o equal to x the meaning is x and o both are same so this can be written as x is equal to o both are same right o equal to x or x equal to o so it is same so now it is easy to connect statement number one and statement number two by using x so this can be written as z and y both are same so this can be written as z y greater than or equal to x and x and o both are equal so this can be written as x o and uh, greater than or equal to u and u and e both are equal so this can be written as u e so finally we have converted the given three statements into a single statement so now let me move on to conclusion number one so conclusion number one is z greater than or equal to u so now we need to compare z and u so friends while comparing z and u so between z and u we have two symbol one is greater than or equal to and the second symbol is also greater than or equal to so the common symbol out of both the symbol is greater than or equal to because greater than is also common equal to is also common so while comparing z and u we got an answer z greater than or equal to u and similarly the conclusion one is z greater than or equal to u so we can say that conclusion number one is true conclusion number two z greater than or equal to o so friends here it is z and here it is o so between z and o we have only one symbol that is greater than or equal to so this can be taken as z greater than or equal to o and similarly the conclusion to a z greater than or equal to o so we can say that both the conclusion is true so finally for question number six we got an answer that is option number five both conclusion one and two follows the last seventh question so they have given three different statement and statement number one ends at c and statement number two starts at c so it is easy to connect the both the statement by using c and listen carefully here the statement number two ends at e but statement number three starts at f so friends f less than or equal to e and this can be written as e greater than or equal to f both are same so finally i am just going to change this last statement as e greater than or equal to f now it is easy to connect statement number two and statement number three so now this can be written as a greater than or equal to b and b less than c c and d both are equal so this can be done as cd and d greater than e and e greater than or equal to f so finally we have converted the given statement three statement into a single statement so let me move on to conclusion number one a greater than or equal to e so we need to compare a and e 
so friends while comparing a and e so between a and e we have three symbol and here it is one less than one greater than so dissimilar so definitely relationship cannot be established so conclusion number two d greater than b so we need to compare d greater than b is true or not listen here friends here it is d and here it is b so between d and b we have only one symbol that is less than so b less than d or d greater than b both are same so conclusion number two d greater than b so we can say that conclusion number two is true so finally for the last seventh question we got an answer that is d greater than b is true that is conclusion number two is true so friends finally in this lesson number three connecting statements we have learned how to connect three or more statement by using a single element that is last element so don't forget to watch my lesson number four lesson number four is so interesting because they used to give more than three or four statements but we can't able to connect them by using the given statement we need to frame a new equation then we need to compare the conclusion so interesting so lesson number three and lesson number four is the most repeatedly asked concept in many bank exams not only in bank exams some IT sector interviews also so thank you so much for watching this video and every videos are available for free in my youtube channel so don't forget to share this video to your friends so that your friends can also learn this bye